The following is a message from FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine. At the FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine, we know it's important to you to make sure your animals are as healthy and productive as possible. We take great effort to make sure the medicated feeds we've approved are safe and effective for your animals. We also make sure that if you use medicated feed properly, any food produced from the animals will be safe. So it's up to you to make sure medicated feeds are properly used. Let me start with a definition. A medicated feed is a feed that contains a drug. We're not talking vitamins or minerals. We're talking about drugs that can help treat or prevent animal disease or aid in an animal's productivity. Proper use of medicated feed can provide great benefits to animal health and productivity. But improper use can cause problems, perhaps reduced productivity, or much worse, the death of your animals. And the harm can extend beyond your farm. Improper use of medicated feeds can cause unsafe drug residues in food derived from animals. How do you know if you are properly using a medicated feed? Simple. Read the label and follow the information on it. At FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine, we put a lot of time and expertise into not only determining whether a drug can be safely and effectively used in feed, but also into making sure the label on the feed gives you the information you need to use the feed properly. Before a pharmaceutical firm can market a drug for use in a medicated feed, the firm must get FDA's approval it's required by law. The firm must also get FDA's approval for the medicated feed's proposed label. That's also required by law. And because correct labeling is necessary to ensure proper use, we require all medicated feed to be properly labeled. Again, it's the law. To help you know what to look for on the label of a medicated feed, let's go over this sample label for swine feed. Labels have several parts. The first part of the label, at the top, should say the animal species and, if appropriate, the production class it's approved for. This label shows that the feed is approved for swine, which is the species, and in breeding swine, which is a class of animals within the swine species. This first part will tell you if you are using the right feed for the right animals. And, in this case, the label identifies the product as a Type C medicated feed, which means it can be fed to the intended animals for the indicated uses without being mixed any further with other ingredients. It's safe to use directly from the bag. The next part of the label specifies the active drug ingredient or ingredients – some feeds are approved to contain more than one drug – along with the concentration of the drug or drugs. This part also includes the guaranteed analysis, which provides the levels of nutrients in the feed. The list has all the ingredients used to make the feed and presents them in the order of most to least, based on weight. This part also includes the feeding directions, which explain how and for how long to use the feed. It's very important to fully understand the feeding directions. Using a medicated feed in a manner different from what the label says, such as feeding it to a species of animal not listed on the label, using it longer than the label says, or using a feed with a different drug level, means that the feed is being used in a manner that has not been approved by FDA and therefore has not been shown to be safe and effective. Such use of a medicated feed called extra-label use is not permitted by law. The next part of the label lists the cautions and warnings. Here, the label will specify any limitations for use of the feed, how much of it can be used with your animals, and how long it can be fed to them. In this example, you can see that the medicated feed has a five-day withdrawal period. Always read the cautions and warnings. Here's an example why. Without reading the warning on this label, you might not know to keep the feed away from horses. It says, do not allow horses or other equines access to feed containing the drug monensin. 
ingestion of menensin by horses has been fatal. In a case like this, not reading the label could result in the death of horses. And finally, at the bottom of the label is the name and address of the party responsible for the feed. Below that is the quantity statement. You need to read the label to make sure you're not overdosing your animals. Here's another sample label we developed for this video. It's for milk replacer. According to the label, the product contains two drugs, neomycin in combination with oxytetracycline, a typical feed for young calves. The drug neomycin is not only used in feed, it's also approved as an oral dosage or injectable product for calves. Now, look at the label. It reads, use of more than one product containing neomycin or failure to follow withdrawal times may result in illegal drug residues. If you didn't read the label, you could overdose your calves and never know it. And the result could be unsafe food. The label is one of the best tools you have to help you do your job. So read the label and follow the directions. It's simple. The information on the label will help protect the health of your animals and the safety of the food produced. Your two most important responsibilities. And following the information on the label will provide the full benefit of the medicated feed. Your job is important. We count on professional animal producers like you to help ensure the safety of our food supply. Medicated feeds are important tools that can have great benefits for animal agriculture, but only if they are used properly. You can find more information as well as ask questions about safe medicated feed use at the link on your screen. We all share in ensuring the safety of our nation's food supply. Thank you.